Hey everyone, and thanks for joining me. Today we've got an unboxing for you. Uh, just, uh, the mail just came in. I kind of know what it is. Uh, I th it could be one of two things, I'm not sure. Uh, but one thing that you definitely know is if it's coming from Warriors and Wonders, it's going to be good stuff. So, the EDC for today is the Sebenza. I've been uh, EDCing this uh, for some time now. And uh, what can I say? It's a Sebenza. Uh, but this one should be good. If I can get into it. So yeah, I, uh, I ordered this over the, the long weekend. Oh, got some paracord. Well, that's kind of anticlimactic, isn't it? Got a little bit of paracord here. This is the ACU pattern. Good stuff. That'll make a couple good lanyards. Seven cord, or seven strand, 550. Good stuff. Nice. So yeah, thanks for uh, checking out the video. Oh, hang on, there's something else in here. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Let's see what... Oh. Emerson. Could this be my first Emerson knife? I think it could be. Well, let's see what we got here. Get all that out of the way. So here we go, my first ever Emerson. Now, I haven't uh, bought an Emerson before, uh, <clears throat> mainly because of the grind. Um, I'm not so keen on the uh, pseudo chisel grind of that all Emersons have. And uh, I just never thought that, uh, you know, you should go and spend <coughs> two hundred dollars on a knife and then have to reprofile it. Um, it seems a bit silly to me, but it's how Ernest Emerson uh, wants his knives, and you know what? I I definitely needed an Emerson to add to my collection, so pulled the trigger, and this is what we've got. This is the uh, Emerson CQC eight. Wow, it's a uh, very high traction uh, scales. And if you check here, the, the, the profile, the edge bevel, you can see, see it's, it's sharpened on that side but it's not on that side. And the reason for that, according to Ernest Emerson, is that they can sharpen it in the field on a rock or something and it makes it easier, but I mean, how often is that gonna happen, really? It is very nicely centered. It's, uh, yeah, it's the, the classic, I mean, uh, I have heard uh, from a lot of people that uh, their fit and finish just really is kind of underwhelming and uh, honestly it's it's not that great um, just just looking at it uh, right now I mean it's uh, you can see that you know it's not perfectly finished up next to the liners uh, the back spacer is slightly inset which is kind of weird um, but I mean, it is what it is. It's it's this is this is designed to be a a combat knife. Uh, it's got very nice early lockup. Beautiful, be absolutely beautiful stone washing up on the uh, on the flat. Now it is quite sharp. 
surprisingly. Feels great in the hand. Lovely knife. Um, yeah, back to the fit and finish. I mean, it's it's not uh, it's not anything to write home about, but this knife was designed to be a working knife, uh, not designed to be a, a safe queen. Even though it's a you know two hundred dollar knife, it's uh, it's designed to be very very solid. There's ab absolutely no blade play whatsoever. Up or down, side to side. It locks into your hand fantastic. It's got the, uh, I don't know what you call it, the uh, Emerson Wave feature. And made in 2012, all Emersons have the date on it. It's a lovely, lovely little knife. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, there's my uh, my unboxing for this morning. Enjoying my cup of coffee and my my first uh, Emerson. It is a little bit stiff, but uh, um, we'll work that in. Excellent. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your support. We'll talk to you soon.